Hey everybody, I'm uh, Flying Fox Fruits here, Chaperon, Adam, and I want to do a quick video about the Eugenias. They're in the same family as the Jabuticabas. Highly collectible. They fruit in pots. They fruit young. You can fruit them in the shade, the full sun. They're versatile. All different colors. They come in yellow, purple, red, orange, green. Think of them like guava almost. Let me run through real quick. This one's called Eugenia Stipitata. S-T-I-P-I-D-A-D-A. Or Stipitata, okay? I forget how to spell it. Not G, you're gonna make it. S-T-I-P-A-T-A. T-A, I think. Stipitata. Arasa Boy is the common name. Uh, R-A-C-A. Space B O I something like that. That's a different. There's a different way to say it in Portuguese. They're all gonna correct me. Makes a sour fruit comparable to like a giant lemon. It's seriously one of the most sour fruits I've ever tasted, but it's delicious. The fragrance, like if you get it on your fingers or if someone opens one up, it smells incredible. But it's so sour, you're gonna have to mix it with sugar or honey, or you know make something out of it. Most people aren't just gonna want to eat it straight up. It's enough to take the enamel off of your teeth. But they're easy to fruit. They fruit well in part shade. They fruit well in full sun. They don't like seem to like. Uh, they don't seem to like wet feet. I, they always kill them with wet feet. Let's keep going over this way. So that was Eugenia stipitata. That was one version, but this is another version of Eugenia stipitata here. This one was called uh, Sororia. S O R O R. I A something like that. Sor or E. Uh, I forget how to spell it. This one's got flowers. Look. So this is a special variety of Eugenia stipitata, and look how different the leaf is. It's a more bushy tree. It's got a, a more uh, slender leaf. This is another one here. Eugenia stipitata variety Sororia. Supposed to, it makes a smaller fruit, firmer flesh, not quite as sour. I like these a lot. But they're also sensitive. They don't like wet feet. That's what I noticed. And they don't like a high pH. They're like a low pH. Okay. I forget the name of this Eugenia. I'm going to try. I think it's like Eugenia Longipeta, blah, 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 blah. We're going to have to look the name up on this one. I got it from a collector in a different country. We're going to have to figure this one out. It's like Longipeta Petalunkaloo Blue. I forget the name of it. I've got two of them here. And, um... Look how pretty it is. Some kind of Eugenia I don't even remember the name of. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll, I'll look it up and we'll put it in the comments. And these are almost fruiting size. This is a rare Eugenia. Wow. Don't remember the name. Now this is a Eugenia relative. Shoot, I almost tripped. This is a Eugenia relative called Campo Manesia Faeia. The flying saucer fruit. Let's go on to the next one. Look at the bark on it though, Angel. Look at how it feels like that chip. See it feeling? Don't trip like I did. All right, let's make our way over this way. These are some Patanga tubas in here. Just getting some weeds out of here. Oh, man, man. These are like some Patanga tubas down in here. Isn't that cool? Patanga tubas, those are easy. To, these are ones that I separated that are being resuscitated down here. They're all in our community pot and I separated them out. Weeds everywhere. It's the way you do it. Um, Eugenia patricii. Look how pretty the leaves are. Okay, this is a rare Eugenia from the Amazon and uh, there's several varieties from what I've heard and this one's supposed to be kind of precocious and uh, easier to grow, blah, blah, blah. But look, it's trying to fruit here, but this is not right. These fruits are like little runts, man. I've been eating these and they're not, this is, they're, they're not set, this is not, no, that just fell off, yeah. They're not right. These are not, they're like runt fruits, seedless. So it's gonna take a while. First they flower, they flower, and then finally they start to set fruit. Some of these Eugenias just don't do it right off the bat. Come over this way. Huh, look, variegated Grumachama. You ever seen one of them? That's a Grumachama. That one needs to look, look a little wilted. It needs to go in a bigger pot already. This is a variegated Grumachama. Isn't that pretty? I was selling some of them on eBay at one time. I can't believe how uh, I just had this in a, I might plant this one out. I might plant it in the yard. I might have to plant it out, people. That one's begging to get out of that pot. A variegated Bruma Chama. This one, too, is begging to get out of the pot. 
Okay, look here. Uh, Eugene, you can't really see none. That's a close relative of the Cherry of the Rio Grande. These are more heat tolerant, in my opinion. But I think the flavor on these is variable. You can either get a good one or one that tastes kind of funky. It tastes like cranberry and spinach if it's funky. A good one tastes just like a Cherry of the Rio Grande. A funky one tastes funky. And there's varieties on this or something. I don't get it. Like, uh, see, this is the same tree. Eugenia Calicina, Eugenia Calicina, but look at the leaf difference. Some of them taste funky. Some of them taste real good, like a Cherry of the Rio. Grafted Cherry of the Rio Grande, Eugenia Involucrata. This one's really not doing so well. It had a lot of dieback, too much heat, too much um, sun, probably too wet. But I have some that are doing really well on the property. We'll probably end the video with those. Let's walk out here. These are some Patanga tubas, Patanga tuba trees. They look a little junky this time of year, but they are fruiting. Look, that one's got a fruit. Oh, Lordy, I'm eating it. Got a fruit, Patanga tuba. Seven stars. Oh, I think there's eight on there, actually. No, uh, yeah, eight. Look up. I left the water on the greenhouse. Got to off. Grafted Eugenia Uniflora Zildark. These are so strong. This is planted out here in the full sunlight. I never did nothing for it. Grafted. I grafted that out in the field. There's another one. Grafted, so dark, strong, full sunlight, no interruption. Cat Miguelas. These are not Eugenia's, but they're close relatives. Look at these yellow cat leaves. Look at all these things. Ooh, there's no worms in them yet. Ooh, ooh, I love them. Mmm, that was actually pretty good. Mm. Imagine going to someone's garden and not asking permission and doing that for them. Like, mmm, these are so good. Can I take some of these home to my daughter? Okay. These are delicious. Uh oh, look at this tree. Let's tell them about it. This is. Eugenia piriformis, and it was supposed to be the sweet variety. I grafted it onto a rootstock of the same species. It's done nothing but die back and it hates wet feet, but now I'm trying to dry it out by planting other plants around it to help soak up some of that water and crowd out the roots. It is looking okay. It keeps coming back. It won't die. It won't just die. These are three grafted Eugenia Calicinas, and they're grafted onto Eugenia involucrata, the cherry of the Rio Grande rootstock. So this is Calicina, very strong, uh, heat resistant. Cherry of the Rio Grande. Cherry of the Rio Grande right here. Eugenia involucrata. This is a nice tree, but um, I've got some others that make a bigger fruit. This is no, this no, this, that's not any special variety. Calicina, grafted. Calicina, grafted. There's two grafted Calicinas right there. This is Calicina again, but a seedling. And this one has a funky flavor, like I was talking about. Some of them have that spinach, cranberry flavor. This is a really nice seedling, Cherry of the Rio Grande. It makes a red fleshed fruit. I like this one a lot, very sweet. And then this is my grafted Cherry of the Rio Grande the Ben's Butte, and it's doing quite well. We had a tree fall on it. I think we're about to turn it off, guys. That's all for the Eugenius. Let's go miss before we end it. These are two really beautiful Zill Dark Cherry, the uh, 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 Suriname Cherries. Look at that, there's one on there. It ain't a big one, but I'll take it. It's not even really ready, but you can eat them like that. Yeah. Grafted. Ben's Butte again, full sunlight. Got hot, but it lived. And then another, still dark. There's even more Eugenias here that I didn't show you. I just wanted to show you there's a ton of variation, varieties of each species. And I like them a lot. So get out there and think about Eugenias and myrtles, a lot of myrtles. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.